as a developer whenever you upgrade a particular version of a particular library have you guys faced any issue with the dependencies resolving those dependency conflicts in this particular video we are going to see how we can resolve the dependency conflicts inside maven how we can leverage maven dependency tree to resolve these conflicts i'm going to have a demo project and i'm going to show you how we can resolve a dependency conflict when we upgrade a particular version of a library let's get started this is a basic uh, maven project which i downloaded from github so this is not my project but uh, i just took a maven example uh, with a pretty decent amount of uh, dependencies which are in the inside that particular project so so i'm not going to show you what is done in this particular project i'm just going to show you how an upgrade can affect your project so if you see here intellij by default provides something called the maven projects window where you can see the different dependencies for a particular module so this is a particular this is a project which is um, using the java w6 okay it has lots of dependencies it has enterprise uh, java x enterprise it has spring boot dependency it has spring aop dependency it has some jboss dependencies also have any dependency right so what we are going to do is we are going to build this particular project and see if this particular project is building to make sure that everything is perfect initially right so this is the current working project which is there uh, which is out there okay i'm just going to do a clean install i just did a clean install i just selected the clean and install and then ran this particular command if you are using command prompt you can just say maven clean install so there is no difference between these two right you can do that as well so i just leverage this particular ui to do it so uh, if you see here the build is successful right so a maven.war got created as a part of this particular project so now i decide that okay it is using spring boot okay and there is a new version of spring boot and i want to upgrade this particular project to the newer version of spring boot, right let's say i'm going to do a minor upgrade right i'm going to upgrade this to 5.7 uh, 1.5.7 right it's just a minor upgrade right? it's just one version upgrade so let me do an upgrade right i just i'll just do a maven reimport so that it re-downloads the new package the download is completed so i'm just triggering the same clean install command okay let's see if the project is still working so what we did is we just upgraded a spring boot dependency with just one version but we don't know what got affected right so if you see here there is no error here right okay because this is just a small version upgrade and if you notice here there is no upgrade but there could be side effects during runtime right i'll show you a sample right so for example this is a spring boot version which is uh, 1.5.7 and internally if you see it uses spring version 4.3.1 right however if you notice there is al also a jar called spring aop which is using 4.3.10 right so there are two spring versions in this particular project now. so there is 4.3.10 and there is 4.3.1 and if you notice here inside spring aop right if you clearly notice here right this is saying spring core is omitted due to conflict with the 4.3.11 version right because there is a conflict of this particular version which is there here since this is just a small jump there is no issue right so since this is just a small jump there is no issue and the build got succeeded however how do you resolve this right so either what we can do is we can upgrade spring aop to 11 okay once you do this if you refresh this uh, maven Reimport. If you just reimport, if you see here, it will not show anything. It will just say omitted because it's a duplicate, but it is the same version. Or what you can do is you can exclude this particular. Let's say you want to use the same version, right? For some reason, there could be a case where you want to use the same older version of Spring. In that case, you have to say exclusions. So you will have to use the tag called exclusions, and you just say what artifact to be excluded. So you can just select the artifact. So here I'm going to say spring AOP, right? And the group ID for that is spring framework, right? So if you see here, this is the group ID and this is the, so this particular spring AOP will be neglected from this particular artifact so, or, or uh, spring core, right? Sorry, the spring core was the one we saw as a conflict, right? So 
I just did that. Let me re-import this project. You will notice that inside this, if you notice that there is no conflict for the Spring Clover because we excluded that from the Spring Boot jar. If you had not excluded this, this would have directly taken the 4.3.11 version which Spring Boot brought. If you see here, the Spring context is 4.3.11. So you can do this type of exclusions as well. So there could be some side effects because we are excluding a higher version. However, if let's say there is a lower version, okay, if let's say we are using a 1.5.6 and here we are using 4.3.11, the other way around, then this makes sense sometimes, right? You never know if there are any internal dependencies that it might get affected, but still you should know that using exclusions has its pros and cons. Whenever you know that it is going to work, you can use exclusions. If you're not sure, make sure uh, you confirm that it will work if, with exclusions. That is when you you can use exclusions and uh, this is how you can uh, work around uh, exclusions, right? You work around by excluding a particular dependency which is coming from a existing library. Right? If let's say I want to upgrade to a different version, right? So here I'm going to upgrade it to, uh, let's say, what was the version it was showing? 2.0.0 M3, right? This might be using Spring 5. Right, this is a major upgrade. If you see, this is a major upgrade, and this is not going to work that easily. Right, so if you see here, uh, let me expand this. I think uh, M3 is now gone. I think the Spring Boot has got certified, right? So it could, it should be 2.0.0. Uh, let's see, uh, let me re import everything. So this is going to download some of the uh, dependencies. I think uh, that also is not there, right? Yeah, that's what he is saying. So let's see i don't know if build snapshot is still available let's try it out if uh, that is available yeah looks like it is available and if you notice here internally that build snapshot is using the spring version 5.0 build right which is completely irrelevant to the spring aop here right so what we did here is we excluded the spring core and we are using the spring core from the aop right what do you think if i build this particular project will it work you never know it might work as well but uh, I'm just going to build it. Let's see, right? It might work, it might not work, but this is one of the uh, major uh, scenarios which we face today. When we upgrade one version from uh, one version of a library, there are chances that the other uh, libraries which we are used might get affected. See, that it, it didn't get affected, uh, uh, maybe because there are no tests in this particular project. That could be a reason. But when you use it at runtime, you might know that, okay, this might not work, right? Because of the version context so see this right spring context is 5.0 however the spring core is 4.3.9 right same way spring beans and AO. okay so in this case as i said earlier you can use exclusions or the other way is um, instead of using exclusion directly upgrade this as well. so if you don't want to have a, a nasty uh, palm exclusions you can directly go to the 5.0.0 Right. So this way you keep on upgrading everything. That is the major reason people say that, okay, upgrade your projects or upgrade the versions very frequently. If you don't do frequent updates, this is what happens because most of the enterprise systems face this kind of problems where you have a very legacy system and you have lots of Maven problems and you will have to use exclusions to have these kind of issues. So one other way, if let's say you're not using IntelliJ, right? how will I identify my Maven dependency tree? So this is a Maven dependency tree, right? It shows very neatly. So there is a way which Maven provides this tree, right? You can just say Maven dependency colon tree. So if you have Maven installed in your machine, you can use this. If you don't have Maven, you will have to install it to get the dependency. Tree. By default, I think most of us have Maven because we build our projects. So if you give the Maven dependency tree, this is going to automatically scan your form and come up with a graph so this is the graph right it's not like a graph but it just shows what dependencies are coming from there if you see here it shows okay spring boot 2.0 it has dependency to spring core 5.0 then that internally has dependency to spring jcl so if you see this this shows the child hierarchy right same way the spring boot directly has spring context internally that has expression then aop aop has beans so that is how it shows the dependency. So the, this is the dependency tree. So if you want to see a dependency tree of a project, you can run this particular command, maven dependency tree, right? And you can see the dependencies. And how do you resolve the conflicts? You can use the exclusions or either update both of them.
right you can either use exclusions or upgrade for the projects and this is a, a way to identify what are all the dependencies used in different projects right i just showed with an example with two different uh, libraries but if you have an enterprise application which is huge you might end up uh, resolving lots of merge, lots of uh, dependency conflicts right so just make sure that you guys are aware that if you use exclusions there will be runtime problems even though there might not be a compile time issue there will be a runtime issue so just make sure that you are aware of this particular um, uh, warning right so I, I think i hope you understood what is a dependency conflict and how you can resolve dependency conflict and what is the tool available in maven to uh, see the dependency tree and how you can identify what version is coming from which particular level right so i hope you found this particular video interesting uh, if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it if you know uh, people are searching for maven and how to resolve these problems you can share this particular video to them i hope uh, you understood something from this video meet again in the next video thank you very much